Good morning. The Orlando Gardener coming at you. What took? What's holding? None of the trees that don't have fruit in this video, but only the trees that have fruit. And again, as it was last year coming up about this time, I'll be traveling to South Florida. So I'll visit two or three people while I'm down there. One being my buddy, Paul, Fruitful Trees, and a couple of more people. But back to the subject, what's holding? Sugarloaf. Actually holding on this year in a couple of places, y'all. Oh, you got to go. We got a few of them here. Don't need to pause the video. I can go right here to the good old M4. And you might ask, by the way, what does the red tag mean or the red flag mean? This means that this is eventually going in the ground. That's what the red flag means. But M4 is doing this thing, holding on a lot of fruit. That thing has to go in the ground. Can't go far. Don't have to go far. Good old Juicy Peach. It's loaded this year and holding fruit. Just had to take it up out of the ground and put it in a pot in which it'll stay for quite some time. Kathy, K3, holding a lot of fruit this year. Very, very glad. Really like Kathy. It's doing this thing. Guess what, y'all? Look at cotton candy. Can you believe that? Cotton candy is actually holding on to some fruit this year. Hmm. That's good. Pickering. It's not unusual for pickering to hold fruit. That's what Pickering does. They hold fruit. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Thumbnail. Pickering is holding fruit. 25 gallon pot. And helicopter going over. Also. Nope. Not one helicopter, two helicopters. <laughs> Sweet tart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me stop counting. Sweet tart is holding fruit this season. Very glad. Very, very glad. Okay, come on around. Palmer. Palmer's holding fruit. Very grateful about that. Hopefully we can get all three of them. Traveling to the good old Romani. Funny looking mango. Intense flavor though. Like very intense. You got to be a mango lover to like this mango. Because it is so dense in the flavor lemon zest doing this thing y'all know from all the visitors that have come by wow look at the size of those that are up there yeah that's all right big go ahead and do y'all thing all right lemon zest doing this thing holding fruit Peach cobbler. Not as many as last year. But it got fruit on it, y'all. Am I excited? Yeah. Sure am. Peach cobbler is the bomb.
Pineapple pleasure. Nah. <laughs> I wish they were holding like this. This is pina colada. And that limb need to be propped up right there. Pina colada is holding fruit. Yes, it is. You got to go, unfortunately. Holding fruit this season. So is good old orange essence. Ah, you got to go. But it's holding fruit. Orange essence. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, another bloom. That other bloom. But also, orange sherbet. Holding fruit. And another bloom. And I'm not going around the other side. This way, because the dog is there. And he'll jump all over me. Maybe I can get some more fruit from this side without him making a mess. There we go. On sure, but oh, they gonna taste so good. Pickering, doing what Pickering does, produce fruit. Wow, look at that big old mango there. With all this rain, they're really happy right now. Like, really, really happy. The trees are happy. Right next to it, Super Julie. Julie's daughter, holding fruit. Let's see if I can move through here without the dog jumping on me. Super Julie. Yep, isn't that nice? Good old Super Julie. Duncan. Woo. Picturesque. Bart's brother. I got two of these for you over here. I thought that was you Friday, but turned out to be a friend. All righty. Dove's moving. That branch need to be propped up as well. Duncan, doing his thing. Let's come on over to ice cream. Ooh, these two got to go. One, two, three. Wasting energy. Ice cream. I wish we could get another bloom of this, but it's okay. Ice cream. I scream, you scream, up two of those got to go. Can't reach them though. And this has to go. Gold nugget. Looking really good. This is a really good piece of fruit. Very glad to have this tree. Glad I have it. I'm trying to move without knocking fruit off the trees. Liliwana. Liliwana, the wild mango. Holding fruit this season. The mango that tastes like sugar cane juice. Guava. Gu -gu -gu -guava. Gu -gu -gu -guava. Guava, 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 guava. Holding fruit besides on this one branch. Got fruit up here. Get out of the way. Got fruit right there. Got fruit over there. That fruit over there. We're looking mighty good. Sunrise. 
just a few this year but it's okay i know what this tree is capable of Ooh, wait a minute got to trim that branch that that's died got to get that off of there and reposa the big mango like big mango doing this thing this year reposa holding on Gotta prop that up. I need to go and make some prop sticks. Dwarf a wire. I'm going to bag these up. Why? Because the critters always come to dwarf a wire. Dwarf a wire. Doing this thing. Pimp seen mom. Just this little branch this year, y'all. That's all. But it has fruit. Pimp seen mom. Angie. 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 Mangoes. Mangoes. Angie the workhorse. Edgar, Edgar, I know every time I come past this tree and do a video, I always say it and I mean it. Thank you, Sergio, for doing the first graph on this tree. Thank you. Honey kiss. Honey kiss holding fruit this year. Here he is. <laughs> Holding a lot of fruit. Okay. I guess I'll go over there. Or maybe here. Gary. Only a couple. But that's okay. As long as Gary's on the property. We all right with that. Tess Pollock. Man, all that water just went on my foot. Ah. Tess Pollock is showing off this year. It is literally showing off. I'm very glad I got this tree from Chris. Thanks, Chris, down in Truly Tropical. Rosie Gold. Rose Gold doing okay. Not as well as it can be. I think next year is going to be a super year for this. But it's holding a few. Glad about that. Oh, yeah. Coconut cream. It's a dream. Not blowing no steam. But truly, coconut cream. <laughs> About three out of the three million on Juliet. And this season, it was my fault again. I went out of town, y'all. You really got to water these trees that's in the pot. I'm telling you. Baptiste. You're just not going to stop Baptiste from producing fruit. It just ain't going to happen. It's just going to produce them. And look at that unique one. Hmm. Baptiste is doing his thing. Beautiful mango. Baptiste. Fruit punch. All right, y'all. All right. Getting a little bud wood ready, too. Holding a few on this year. Okay. Thank y'all for praying for me. And Lemon Meringue. What can I say? 
Ooh, doggy. I need another one of these trees. No, I don't. <laughs> Just look, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that picturesque? I'm going to get a picture of that. <laughs> Woo! Florigon. Is it a surprise? No, it's not a surprise. It's just really not a surprise. Florigon, you know what Florigon is going to do. It's going to produce. See, Chris. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, or whatever. Thank you. <laughs> They're holding. Had to come back out of the ground and get in the big pot. Can you believe we moved that pot around? All it takes is a few friends. Bailey's Marvel. One of the largest mangoes on the property. They're big, bowling ball size. Big, 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 big. Big mangoes. Carry. Carry. Oh, let me duck. Let me duck, duck, duck. Don't want to get stuck, stuck, stuck. Like a duck, duck, duck. carry finally in the ground carry holding fruit turpentine turpentine Good old turpentine. So glad to have this tree. Glenn! Glenn, my friend. Glenn, my friend. If you can't get a pickering, get a Glenn. Because Glenn will surely be your friend. Glenn. Oh no. It's resting on that branch. Okay. We're okay. Glen, Glen Mango. Julie. Julie Mango. This tree has been with me a long time. Like a long time. It's holding fruit, y'all. I'm not going to those trees over there because they're, they're varieties that we've already went to. Julie Mango holding fruit. Little bitty tree and doing its thing. Graham. I'm behind on dealing with Graham over here. But Graham is doing this thing. Not as many. I know, I know, I know. Not as many as you're used to seeing. I know. But it does have fruit. Graham has fruit today. And I'm grateful. Grateful for God giving me these fruit. Trying to knock these off with one hand. Uh, got it. Drop it. Boop. I'll clean it up another time. Graham. All right. Venus. Venus, 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 Venus. Yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all look at the size of that thing, man. I freak out every time. I think this needs to be on the list for production. If you're looking to grow mangoes for 
a prophet, you need to definitely do Venus. Venus is the bomb. Biggity, 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 bomb. Biggity, bomb. Yes, it is. Casey. Casey Mango. Tree's not loaded, but it does have fruit. Here and there, not everywhere. Let's see. Find some more fruit. Yeah. There we go. A few places here and there. Got Casey Mango. Malika, orange sherbet, and all that, all the above. Woo! It is a jungle under here. But there y'all go. You can see right there. They're all over the tree. But it's really, really tight back here. And the trees are running into each other. Big time. But I don't care because that's what happens in the forest. They run into each other. Grow right next to each other. That's why it's called a food forest. I know these are different than these. You say they're two different shapes. Yes, you're right. Because this is a multi-grafted tree. All right. This is the Orlando Gardener coming at you. Just wanted to share what's, what's growing on here in Orlando. What's held on to the trees. And uh, hope I didn't skip any varieties. I don't think I did. But anyway, I'll be making more videos to come. This is Orlando Gardner coming at you. Y'all be safe. And y'all have a good one.